uh, cha chow fashion, we'd start off with, you can start the first half and I'll chug the second. Nice. <laughs> Damn, son. Oh my goodness. Okay. Woo! Let's begin this. <laughs> what are we drinking? So here's a house-made horchata. We call it dirty horchata. So it's just horchata, standard, uh, rice milk, cinnamon, pumpkin seed. Then we add a splash of Panther Coffee cold brew. Cool. Just give it a little bit deeper flavor, a little kick. And there's a local beer from Biscayne Bay Brewery. Okay. They're Mammy Pale Ale. All right. So they're out of Doral, which is cool. Very cool. So you're keeping it real local. Yeah, try to, yeah. I want to talk about your background. I want to start there. You started in web design. How did you end up here slinging tacos? The first Kobaya Underground Dinner Series, well, I've officially the second one ever, I hosted it in my old agency. So I had a penthouse office and I contacted Rosendorf and he was doing these dinner things that thought they were cool. So I had the first one at my place and that was with Jeremiah. He did those first two. And you had a love for food since then and we're like, all right, yeah, I was like, screw the fuck the web design. <laughs> I was already interested in it. That so was just like cool. Then his food truck thing came up and that was like the first one in the city. So I helped him with all his web stuff, all his digital stuff. And I slowly crept into the kitchen of the pod. So I helped him out for events, helped him out for like anything he needed. Okay. And I just kind of got, got, got sucked in a little bit more and more and more. And from there, where'd you go after that? You went to the Shaker, right? I literally left my programming job on a Wednesday and started freehand on a Thursday <laughs> the next day. I want to talk about the name Takiza. Well, I don't think a lot of people even know what it means. You have like a gathering at your house, a bunch of people, friends come over. Okay. You have like a whole table set up, with, like sack of tortillas, like a few kinds of like different meats and proteins and like all the veggies and people just come and like build their own thing. It's kind of like a potluck, but for tacos. I think one of the things that makes you guys the most unique is your masa. Tell us about your masa a little bit. Who's your purveyor? How did you find them? So the masa is a special part of it. We make everything in house. So we get the corn. We do the whole mix them all here. So we cook the corn, soak it overnight in the cow solution. We grind it in the back in this grinder we got from Mexico with the stone wheels. And then the corn we're actually getting from a, it's from Mexico. And it's, we got a purveyor, a guy from Brooklyn, it's an actually Miami guy, uh, Jorge from Hacienda. <laughs> so cool. it was like an awesome connection. So he's getting our corn for us. Uh, it's like really, really cool quality, small, like small, tiny farms. So we actually know the farmers, we know what farm it came from. And it's like heirloom, no GMOs, nothing. It's just been there for like a thousand years. Cool. And the flavor is just like out of control. Yeah, it's on point. And it's crazy that you learn to do that on your own. I mean, I've watched shows and people talk about how it takes a while to really like yeah, master right. the masa. <laughs> Yeah, I just read a few books, did a few articles online. I got like a head start with a blog from Dave Arnold. Okay. <laughs> so he has a whole write-up on making masa. So that was my first initial dive into it. So he steered me there. And I just kind of figured out the rest of the problem and error. Yeah. You guys have, I think, seven types of tacos, yeah. right? Okay, so my favorite, lengua, rajas, with la coche. Yeah. Tell us about those a little bit. And are those, I don't even know if those are your favorites? Those are my favorites, okay. yeah. Lengua is my favorite, I just, that's my favorite in any taco place. So I had to have it no matter what. I kind of just made up my own version of how to cook it. I'm cooking it with a, Vic a Victoria Mexican beer. Okay. The like toasted bay leaves, just some onions, super simple. But I think it's different than all the other ones I've had. The so like coche is something I also had to have. It took me a while to source the we like what you have because it's not from the can. It's actually from Mexico. It comes fresh, cryovac from a specific vendor. Okay. So I'm able to like kind of separate myself from everybody else with that as well. And the rajas? And then the rajas actually came up when we ran out of we like what for like two weeks <laughs> and I needed another veggie option. So we kind of made it on the fly and it turned out to be one of like the most popular ones. It is, it's awesome. Yeah. Aside from tacos, you guys, what else do you guys have? We do the totopos, we do just chips. We do them a little different. Okay. So we pan press them so that it's a little bit thicker. 
That way, when we just tear them into the fryer, they puff up. So it's like thin, crispy, a little outside, and like a creamy, soft masa inside. They're really good. So everybody like flips out of them. So it's like <laughs> a different texture than anybody's ever used to. And you really get the corn flavor, this intense corn flavor. And you have thing. carne seca, which you guys do. Talk, tell us about that and your secret seasoning. Yeah, so I love jerky. Uh, I made jerky at the shaker, which is like super awesome. And I came here, I just wanted to do like the reverse version of it. Okay. So over there I used to do like a wet rub for 12 hours, all this stuff. Here I'm just doing a dry rub with like mole spices. So there's like pumpkin seed or sesame seed, some like chocolate nib. Dry for like five, six hours, coat it with a little tahini and lime, and that's our little our version of it. Last but not least, let's end on some the sweet stuff. What you got for the sweet tooth? So when we first started, we were making a few like different paletas, but now I collaborated with uh, Mikey from Illegal Bakery, and we're Love like, him. we need to make a cool dessert that's like kind of fun but still like traditional flavors. So he came up with a choco taco which is corn flour and cocoa shell and a chata ice cream and like coated with a uh, chocolate, sesame seed, pumpkin seed, peanuts Woo! and it's just like the greatest thing ever. <laughs> yeah. I hear there's possibly another opportunity. Yeah, so people, a lot of people are talking about the my tortillas and our mas over here. So now a few people are approaching us that are have like a taco concept or tacos on their menu or tortillas on the menu in some form. So we're working with a few other upcoming hotels and restaurants. Okay. And we're like kind of doing some stuff for them, doing some testing, custom flavors. Maybe doing our own corn, maybe supplying our specific, the same masa we have here, maybe other people might be using it pretty soon. Okay. In a few months, so. We can't say what, we'll just leave it yeah. at that. Well, cheers. Cool, cheers. <laughs>